Good morning. Well, I had like a Berenstein Bears day with the kids yesterday. It was like the Berenstein Bears and two many electronics. <laughs> I just had my breaking point. I don't know. I had my breaking point with these kids and the damn phones and computers and video games. I don't know. I know that like some parents aren't really bothered by their kids being on the phones and video games and stuff so much. But for me, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that they're not interacting with each other. I don't like the fact that they don't play with any of their toys anymore. Like, none of them. Evie, literally, Evie, who's four, will literally not even pick up any of his toys that he just got for Christmas. And I have no idea why I'm breaking out right here. Probably stress. He just picks up my phone and he watches these videos all day. And then he wants to go play video games and it's just like, oh, what the heck? Like, when did this happen? So yesterday, I've been tr slowly trying to get him to like play with his toys and just get off the phone more. And yesterday, I was doing the dishes and I was like, I'm gonna set him up with all of his trains. So I did. Um, I went and put all of his trains, it took me like a really long time, almost an hour to set up all the trains like in the right way because you have to put like all the wood pieces together and so I put it all together and the minute I got up to like do something else to like wash the dishes or something Evie just did not want to play with his trains anymore so like as long as I was there he would play but if I got up he wanted nothing to do with me and he wanted to go back on the phone. Oh, no, no, Then he went back on the video game with his brother. And they fought and screamed and screamed and screamed and screamed and screamed. And things were being thrown and kids were fighting. I mean, it was just so awful. So I literally just got up from what I was doing. And I told everyone to get off every electronic. I took all phones, got them off their video game. I told them no computer, no TV, and I went in the playroom and I cleared out the entire playroom of all their toys. I left board games and some toys that I think that's like blocks and some toys that I think that they'll play with. And that was it. And so that created a huge fight between Gracie and I because Gracie doesn't understand that like I would never just throw these toys out but like we can't just hold on to them because she says she's gonna play with them every once in a while um maybe there's too many toys in our house maybe it's like overwhelming for Evie to pick like one toy because I know we have a lot of toys in our house and it's not that like I just went out and bought Evie a lot of toys it's because we've had a lot of toys for like passed down from all the kids so there are a lot of toys in our house but the fact is, is that like, no one's playing with any of them and like Gracie has this like thing that she's like kind of <sighs> Gracie has this mindset that she's like still little so like she's stuck in that I still want to be little but I'm growing up phase, so she wants to think that she still plays with all of her toys, but she doesn't, if that makes sense. I think it's more like sentimental. You know, her childhood was great and wonderful, and um, her sister was home, and they used to play Barbies together. And I think that's part of it. I think that she just thinks, like, you know, getting rid of her toys is like kind of saying goodbye to her childhood. But the truth is that she's not playing with any of them she's just not they don't play with them and the age difference between the kids is like really annoying because um they're big and they want to be on their cell phones and they want to be on their video games and evie is just four and so he wants to be like them so he's kind of watching them and instead of having like big brothers and sisters who sit down and play like with their dinosaurs or with their stuffed animals 
he's watching them play on their phones and their video games, which is fine because it's like kind of like what they should be doing. I don't really expect my 14 year old to be still like playing with their stuffed animals. But it's hard for Evie because he's not really watching anyone play, so um, he constantly wants someone to play with. So it's like he constantly wants me to sit down and play with him, but the truth is I can't sit down and play with him all the time. Like, I just can't, and he has to, like, kind of learn to be almost like an only child by himself. But he doesn't want to be. He wants to always have someone play with him. And then the older kids try to play with him, but, like... It's almost like they lost that. Like, you lose that sense of playing somewhere along the line. I don't know. But I took all the toys out and they're all... The whole playroom's cleaned out. It looks amazing, actually. <laughs> but all the toys are in the um, dining room right now. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. Obviously, they're good toys I would never get rid of. I'll pack them away. Maybe even pack them away and just like take bits out here and there so it's like almost like a surprise for Evie because he's still little. I mean, he's just learning how to play. <laughs> it's like he should still be playing with toys. Um, and then the other ones I think I'll sell. That, like, you know, the ones that they don't ever play with, I'll sell. And then there's ones I think I'll just give away. Hi, you. Hi, you phone. You're not getting my phone. No, I'm not. no, don't touch my phone. You're not getting my phone. Anyway, I have to do my roots. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some um, hair dye in. This one is um, L'Oreal Paris Excellence Cream. I get this one, oh, in, um, in number four, dark brown. I get this one because it's got like really good gray coverage. And I find a lot of like the box dyes do not cover grays very well. And I don't have a lot of grays, but I've been getting this patch of gray up here by my, um, my bangs since I was like 18. I can remember getting like my first gray hair up there. And so that's like mainly where I get them, just like right in here on like this stupid little stripe. So, uh, and I hate that because then whenever I pull my hair back in a ponytail, you can always see it. It's not bad, it just bothers me. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do my roots and I'm going to go take a shower. And this is a good time because my camera, my battery is going to die. So I'm going to go ahead and charge my battery while I'm jumping in the shower. I don't know how. I'm doing my hair. I don't know how. Well, <clears throat> I forgot that I have to let it sit in my hair for a while before I take a shower. <laughs> and don't know why I forgot about that, but it is 2 o'clock in the afternoon already, you guys. It is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I cannot believe how fast the time went today. I don't know why it went so fast, but it has gone really fast. Evie is hungry, so I'm going to make him some lunch. And then I'm going to wash out my hair. And I have to hurry because um, Gracie and Maverick apparently have a dentist appointment today. For cleaning. And I completely forgot. And part of me doesn't even know if they can make it because I forgot that they have one. And it's... I can't lift, I can't take Maverick out of school. And his appointment is like right as soon as he gets out of school. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to reschedule it. I, just, I also have to go to the post office at some point today because, listen to how ridiculous this is, you guys. So, when Jeff came home for Christmas, he had, um, I'd gotten a new mattress for Christmas this year. Like, not for Christmas, but right around Christmas time. And so I had, and I got, like, I 
went down from a king size mattress to a queen size since Jeff wasn't here and I just felt like it's kind of stupid for me to have this huge mattress plus I was moving into a smaller room you know so I had gotten a smaller mattress and took the king size mattress and brought it downstairs for a while because I wasn't sure what the heck I was gonna do with it like I was like this huge mattress like what do you do so when Jeff came home I had him bring it out front and put it by the trash and then I was like all right you know I'll call for bulk pickup so he went and moved this big mattress out front and it was sitting out there for like months months I mean two months literally two months and I get this letter in the mail and basically it was like you have five days to move this mattress basically it said something like they do not do bulk pickup in the um, winter time which I find is really hard to believe why you wouldn't do bulk pickup after Christmas I don't know but they said I had basically five days to remove this mattress or I was gonna get a summons from court um, now I get it they want to keep this town clean trust me I get that and I appreciate that because I don't you know I don't want to see people's trash all over the place but what irritates me is that like I know who this person is that comes and knocks on your door I know who the person is that drives around to check your property like he's come by my house before and I've spoken to him I just don't understand why he wouldn't just come to the door and like knock on the door and have a conversation with me maybe say like hey do you realize that we don't do bulk pickup or um do you need any help with this or do you are you aware of what you can do with your mattress I had this mattress this king size mattress by the way king size mattress sitting outside by my trash like that was by the street by like the curb for two months and it snowed it rained short sure, froze it was like all sorts of weather on top of this mattress for two months and his answer was like in the letter it was like you have to move it and if you want to you can take it to this like large trash drop off or whatever behind the um the firehouse but you'll have to pay for that and I'm thinking number one I still didn't even have my van back at the time when I got this letter because I was um, our van was still in the shop getting fixed from when the tree fell on it so I had this tiny car that was a rental car so that's not gonna work I can't put a mattress inside or on top of a tiny rental car and second of all even if I did have my van how the heck was I gonna do that how the heck was I going to get a huge frozen king-size mattress on top of my car by myself I couldn't do it so I had waited to see if I could get in touch with somebody and I was like somebody was supposed to come out and then they ended up not being able to come out by like the fourth day so on the fifth day I went and took the mattress Gracie and I went out and took the mattress and just drug it to the side of my house just to get it away from there so I didn't have to go to court and the other day when Abby was here I was checking my mail and I had this letter in my oh it's right here I got this thing right here I got like one of these things right here you know the sorry we missed you which is funny because I was there all day so you didn't miss me you didn't come to my door um, and it is a um, certified letter that I have to go pick up at the post office and it's from my town my township so what that tells me is I most likely am gonna have to go to court over this which I just think is so unfair sometimes I just want to like cry because I think to myself like man do people not understand like just like one thing after another I just can't catch a break sometimes whatever I don't know I'm gonna go make Evie his lunch and then I gotta go rinse out my hair and then I'm gonna go figure out what I'm gonna do about this dentist I might have to reschedule. My kids are probably going to kill me if they find out they have to go to the dentist when they get home. I don't know. I don't know. All right, I only have a couple seconds before I have to rinse out my hair because I left this on for so long. But I just wanted to show you guys my lunch. 
This is so good. It is a piece of Ezekiel bread. Well, and I toasted it. It's a piece of um, it's a piece of Ezekiel bread that I toasted. Some fresh tomato slices and a fried egg with hot pepper flakes, of course. All right, I'm gonna go eat it and rinse out my hair. Um, I forgot my um, my car thing. The car. Oh my gosh, I forget what it's called all the time. The camera holder thing for the car. I forgot it. So yeah. Um, I just dropped Gracie off at the dentist. And now I have to go get Maverick. But oh, Actually, but first, before I go get Maverick, I'm gonna go to the post office and pick up this letter and see if I have to go to court. It's so upsetting. I wish I could just put my camera right up here like that. It won't stay. As soon as I start my car, it won't, it won't stay. I know that. Um, yeah, so I got out of the shower and I mean as fast as possible <laughs> and I died. Okay, well there you go. <laughs> I can't even reach you. Alright, well that was a bust. Anyway, I um washed, I dyed my hair and it looks decent. I am at the um Stay there for a second. Wait, I'm at the post office. In. Yes, you're gonna come in. Okay. I have to go get this letter. <sighs> I know, bug. I know. It's dumb to me too. I am. All right, so let's open up this letter. Let's see what it says. You want to bet it's a court summons. Oh. Oh. No, it's just a final notice. All right, so it's a final notice letting me know that I have to remove My little home, little home. the mattress. I guess they were kind of afraid that I didn't receive the other letters. So they sent it certified mail. Well, Evie, guess what? what? Mommy doesn't have to go to court. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so much better. I just feel so much more relieved. That, that just scared me so bad. I thought for sure that that's what it was going to be. I thought for sure I was going to have to go to court over that. But, okay. I kind of appreciate that they sent it to me certified. I do. I, um because I was thinking to myself before, like how would he know exactly when I got the letter? I mean, I guess he could go to the post office, but how would he know how, like that it was definitely five days? I don't know, I was just really upset about that, so. Yay. All right, I'm headed to pick up Hi. Maverick. What, Evie? Yay. I'm headed to pick up Maverick and oh my god. Alright, I can't sit that up there anymore. I'm gonna end up breaking my camera. So I'm gonna go pick up Maverick now. Wait, my phone. <laughs> so we are taking Maverick to the dentist now to go get his teeth cleaned. No big deal, buddy, just a cleaning. So let me know. If what about you... my hair? Um, we'll see about that. I gotta get you in for a haircut as well. But we'll see what I can do after this, okay? Um and um Evie, I need to go get I need to stop at the store too. 
Look at this picture I just found. From our ski trip. Isn't it so cute? Yeah, it's when we were in the car. Yeah, it was a good day. I'm actually making the vlog right now of that day. I'm trying to get it finished so I can post that one up. Yeah, can we go to McDonald's maybe? For dinner? No, we can. Just to get a snack? Yeah. Because they're apple stream milkshakes. Do they? Yep. Alright, I'll see about it. I'll think about it. Um, I just dropped Maverick off at the dentist. Thank you, Everett. And Gracie too. And Gracie too, and they're inside. And I That's just the they're getting <laughs> they're just getting their teeth checked, bud. Um <laughs> I have to go to the store to pick up something for Evie real quick. And then afterwards, we're not going to Chick-fil-A today, Eddie, because I have to go get Maverick's haircut, honey. But I'll take you to, I think I'm going to take the kids to McDonald's to get um, a milkshake and maybe some french fries. I never take them there, ever. Alright, so I just checked Maverick in for a haircut. So, what I will probably do is just go straight from the dentist to McDonald's, I guess, and go get them um, french fries and a milkshake. Because I never do this. I never get McDonald's, ever, because I can't stand McDonald's. But, um... Then I'm going to go take Maverick to go get his hair cut. So we just had to run into CVS real quick to pick up a few things. And a lollipop. Uh, Abby got a lollipop. I got myself two face masks. They're by um, Beauty 360. And one is for brightening, and the other one is moisturizing, anti-wrinkle, plumping, tissue facial mask. So I'm going to try to use one. I have so many at home, and I haven't been using them. Mommy, you so that I'm gonna try one. too? Yes. Is that too sweet? I got two masks, Eddie. And trees? And trees? Yeah. No, I did not get any trees. Not today. Gracie's done at the dentist. And I'm going to run home real quick. Grab something. And then I'm going to run back and pick up Gracie and Maverick. And then we're going to run to McDonald's to get a snack. And then we're going to run. No, Everett, we're not going to kill them. And then we're going to run to... Um, get Maverick's haircut. So, pretty busy afternoon. I need to go get new sunglasses. I had like so many different pairs. But I either lost them, broke them, or they were stolen. So I have these ones and I love them, but... I don't want to have just one pair of sunglasses. I like to change my sunglasses according to what I'm wearing. And right now I can only wear these. I'm really happy that that letter was not a court letter. That makes me feel a lot better. I was so stressed out about that. Um, so I do feel better about that. But, um, Some days I just feel like I. I don't know. Some days I just feel. Can you put water on my head? What? I'm hot. You're hot? I'll turn like I'll turn the air on for you, Ev, just a little bit. Thank you. I had a very nice time. Some days 
I just feel really frustrated and kind of like, I just don't feel like, I just want to be by myself. I think that's what it is. I think some days I just want to be left alone and since I'm with the kids by myself, I don't ever get that. I need a break. I think I think I definitely need a break. I need to be by myself for a couple. I wish I could be by myself for a couple days. That's not gonna happen. Now we can get No Everett, you're staying in the car. How are you doing? All right, I'm gonna run inside real quick and get the stuff that I need for the bank. And then we're gonna head out and pick up the kids. I'll block this payment. Let me call you back. My sister. Hi, guys. What? You got a moon. You have a moon? Oh, the moon is out. Look how pretty it is. Oh, I love it. Tell me such a pretty reading. Oh, sorry. Halloween. You're not smelling you. Um. So I just picked up the kits from the dentist. I don't have any cavities. And Gracie has a small no, don't cavity. Say that, don't Gracie has the cavities. No, no, no. The kids don't have any cavities. And Maverick has, um, Maverick has a very small cavity as well. That was a movie. Oh, that car. It was the car. I mean the movie. It was the in movie. The car. In the car and the movie. Oh my god. In the car and the movie. That's right. So we are going to go. I'm going to take the kids to McDonald's. Even though, even though we never get McDonald's ever. Never. I don't like their fries. And then I've got to take Maverick to go get his hair cut. I need a coffee. Go to Starbucks. That's what I feel like doing. Go. I might. I might go to Starbucks. You want a cake food? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just regain all the calories I need. Well, what do you, like, Maverick wants McDonald's. So, I mean, would you rather not have McDonald's than have McDonald's Starbucks? Do you want to get McDonald's french fries and then a drink at Starbucks? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. And then... Maverick and Evie, do you guys want french fries and a milkshake from McDonald's? And I want a yes. Whoa, whoa. I didn't say meals, I said a snackola. That is a snack. A chicken sandwich is a meal, Maverick. I know you're a growing boy and everything, but really. I want to make a hello fresh meal tonight, and I don't want to make it if everyone's make not hungry. Pasta. I'm starving. My stomach like That's what I'm saying. So let's just get snacks here and a French fries and a milkshake. I'm that feels good. Yeah. Okay, Abby, what kind of milkshake do you want? What they have this now? And the shamrock. One. Yeah. <gasps> um. We have a toy in it. We're not getting toys. We're just getting French no, fries no, and milkshake. No, no. They have a toy in it. No. Look at the green tea. Can I get a grande matcha green tea frappuccino, please? I do not want any cream. Sure, you still want the cream on there? You want whipped cream? Yes. All right, anything else? Um, yes. Can I get um an iced caramel latte? Um, gr grande. But can I only get two pumps of caramel, please? Sure. And can I get that with um, coconut milk? Absolutely. And that's all. Mm -hmm. All right. Ten forty-five. You can pour out. Thank you. So cool. It's great. Gracie, taste it. Tell me if you like it. Oh, what do you <laughs> right? And I got myself iced caramel. This is delicious with coconut milk. Who's there? And then two pumps. That's what I got today. All right, we are now at the hair place. We're gonna Did you make an appointment. I checked in, yeah. So we're gonna go take Maverick to go get his hair cut. But my battery is blinking, so yeah. Look at Gracie's drink. Oh my gosh, how cool! I bet you they made them, brought them out because it's um St. Patty's Day. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember what day. But it's in March. So it tastes fine. It's a little watery because it's the coconut milk and stuff. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. You and I should do a mukbang one day. 
we should go get pizza and just sit in the car or something healthy should be like healthy. <laughs> Who's name? Salad mukbang? Yes. Who's name? All right, my camera's gonna die, so we're just gonna drink our drinks and take I Maddie inside. Watch it, watch it. And then we'll see you when we get home. <laughs> Mom. We are home. My bangs are weird. I didn't style them, so I'm trying to just like push them back, and of course they won't stay back. They just look weird down. Anyway, we are home. Uh, Mavi, Mavi got his hair cut, and um, I got all my errands done. Went to the bank. Went to the dentist. Um, went to CBS. Pretty much did everything and now I'm making dinner and I'm making um a hello fresh meal. I know, still hello fresh. I'm still like I'm still a traitor. But I haven't found a different meal um company or whatever to go with yet. So tonight we are making this one. It looks really good, although I do make this meal a lot. I just probably make it a little bit different than they do, so I'm kind of excited to see the different steps that they take to make this. It's a pretty easy meal. It's literally just like a homemade spaghetti sauce with zucchini and onions and then adding beef. I literally make this meal, I mean everything in here I make, uh, it's so exact how I make it. The only thing that is different is the soy sauce, and I'm guessing that they add this in somewhere with the zucchini, maybe? Um, yes, add onions and zucchini to pan with beef, cook, and then add garlic, thyme, Italian seasoning, and soy sauce. Yeah, it probably just gives it like a little bit of a zest to the zucchini, but I make this meal a lot. Um, but it's a good one, so I'm gonna make that tonight. Maverick is mad at me because I took the video game away from him and um, yeah, just dealt with a temper tantrum. It's always something. Being a mom is hard work. But I'm gonna go get a drink of water and relax. Make dinner and relax. <laughs> you know.